Democratic firebrand Ilhan Omar has been no stranger to controversy during her first term in Congress, so much so that our next guest hopes to stand in the way of a second. In our own Congress, agents of anger and discord are tearing at America from within, like Ilhan Omar. We might seem nearly alike, both Muslims, both women, both refugees. But we couldn't be further apart. She spends her time in Congress sowing seeds of division. I'm running because we aren't as far apart as she wants us to believe. I'm running to bring us closer together. Dahlia Al-Akidi announcing her bid to unseat Omar in a fiery political ad you just watched. The new GOP candidate for Minnesota's 5th Congressional District joins us now. Good morning to you, Dahlia. Good morning, Good morning. from Minneapolis. Good morning. Tell us about yourself and why you want to run. I'm running because Elhan Omar is doing irreparable harm, not only to her district, not only to her state, to the whole country. Um, as an American citizen, my duty is to defend my country, and my duty is to stand up to her uh, hatred and racism that she's uh, uh, spreading within her community, within the country, and even worldwide. Um, I have uh, questions for Ilhan Omar that need to be answered. Uh, Ilhan Omar is harming every uh, American uh, with her uh, hatred, uh, her standing against what we believe in, against our own constitution. Well, you're not the only one with questions. It's recently been announced or, or been reported that the FBI and ICE are looking into uh, instances of perjury, immigration fraud, marriage fraud, things like that. So she's got plenty of problems. But you go back to the division. She seems to always look at our country as the bad guy. And when you run in a district that's heavily Democrat as a Republican, how do you frame your message to reach voters who feel like she just isn't representing you? I believe in building bridges. We are not enemies. We are all Americans, and we can fight together, and we can discuss issues together. Her achievements, as she claims that she passed this and, and that in, in the Congress, which is the majority Democrat, so it's not achievement. They, I mean, she needs to work for her constituents. She needs to represent them. She doesn't care about her district. She's done nothing for her district. She's all she's done is to harm uh, her district, harm uh, her followers. So many now, they are looking for someone else. And I'm here to say, you know what? We Americans, we're not divided. We all love our country. And let's not take your hate to Trump that against America. We are all Americans, and we can stand Amen. together, defend our country. Dalia, just briefly, what does America mean to you? America is my dream. I came uh, to the U.S. more than 25 uh, years ago. So basically, I'm, I'm not a refugee anymore. I'm not an Iraqi anymore. I am an American, period. The reason why I said I'm like her, because I'm American, I'm an, uh, a refugee and I'm a Muslim, because that what she uses, hmm. uh, she has her uh, uh, ready accusations. If you, if you even criticize her for for her not doing her job, uh, she's ready to say, oh, you're Islamophobic, oh, you're anti-immigrants, oh, you're anti-refugee, oh, you're anti-anti-anti. So you know what? I'm going to beat you in your own game, and let's talk face to face. I'm, I'm, America, for me, is, is my country. America opened the doors for me. I came as a young adult, and I became an international journalist. I've, I've worked, I've covered wars, and, and I've been to wars all over the world. I know what I'm talking about. Mm. I've lived under a tyranny. I've lived under Saddam Hussein. I know what division does to a country, and I will never let it happen in this country. Dahlia, thank mm. you so much. Thank you for your courage. Good luck, yeah. too. We reached thank out you. to... Thank you. You're welcome. We reached out to Congresswoman Omar's office for a comment, but we did not hear back.